Good day and welcome to another session, um, platform called Truth, Knowledge, and Light. I'm Joseph Williams. We hear, we chop it up, we discuss uh, various issues with one another in order that we can grow as a family. That's the purpose of our existence. But uh, let, me, let me just be real and tell you that times are hard for a lot of people. You know, people don't have jobs, don't have money, people are broke, people are are not shopping like they used to. You can't get a loan for a car, for a house. Banks got all the money. The gap between the rich and the poor continues to expand. And I don't know if you've ever kind of seen a movie and you came in near the end of it and you didn't see the beginning, but you could kind of tell that something was happening because the pace of a movie changes when it's at the end. Now, I'm not sitting up here saying that I think the world's gonna blow up in a few years, but I do feel that we are end, are, are reaching the end of an era about to enter into the beginning of a new era. I do think that. And the era that I think is coming to an end is this era of consciousness called capitalism. You know, what has dominated the consciousness, what is consciousness? The awareness, basically how we live our lives, things we like to do, what we like to do. It's the dominant culture of the world, capitalism. That's what it is. And America has been one of the leading factors of creating the current consciousness of the, of, of the entire world. What happens through war? You go in a country, you take over it. What's the first thing that you do? You turn it into a democracy. In order for any democracy to have its relevancy, it must be within an environment of capitalism. It must be money involved. So what has happened is America has imparted its system of democracy and capitalism over the entire world. And now we're in what we call a global market. So there's a time to when if I wanted the American dream or my piece of the American pie, I got it. Big house, cars, husband, wife, picket fence, kids go to college, work for one industry for 30 years. I retire and I move to Florida and fish for the rest of my life. That was the American dream. That was the piece of the pie. Can you still have that pie now? Yes. But I guarantee you it's going to be much smaller. When you have China and India who all want the same thing we want. They want cars, they want clothes, they want to travel, they want to shop. But the same dollars are floating around the world. So being that they want what you got and their countries are being raised around the industry or the consciousness of capitalism, it means that's less money that's coming into the states. Here the dollar is about to collapse. It's, it's worth absolutely nothing. It's not backed by gold, but rather what the Fed say. The Federal Reserve is this industry that has been created to control the entire monetary system of the world. So here when you look in your pocket and you spend in dead presidents, it's as worthless as monopoly money. Listen, folks, capitalism, whether you agree with it or whether you do not, is coming to an end. That's why you see various um, countries uh, piling their monies together to create one currency, like the euro. They're talking about Mexico, Canada, and the United States coming together with the Amero. So the next thing you're going to know is you're going to see them trying to stabilize the global markets by having a global dollar. And it's going to be justified to where the, 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 the um, capriciousness of the financial markets becomes stabilized. We are at the end of capitalism, whether we are willing to agree with it or not. What do I see happening? I see life changing into a different consciousness. The consciousness of humankind is raising right as we speak. And if you want to learn something about the consciousness of humanity, do your own research on spiral dynamics. It is the study of how the consciousness of humankind continues to elevate 
from its inception to when human beings were cavemen to where we are now, living in, in cities and countries and nations. Listen, in order for us to, the, the best way to, prepare, to, to, to handle change is to prepare for it. And the number one thing that needs to happen is we must simplify our lives. We have to get rid of the, the debt that's on our credit cards. We can't continue to live in debt. If we're living in a five bedroom house, we may need to think about getting a three bedroom house. The days of excess are no longer affordable. Every time you go to Macy's, they, they offer you or Riches or, or Old Navy or whatever, wherever you shop, they're offering you another credit card. The banks need you to be in debt in order for the system to work. Think about it. This system is based off of debt. Think about it. If you have, how is it that being in debt help, helps you? If you're in debt and you're making payments, that helps your credit score over and against someone who doesn't have credit cards. The whole system works by us being in debt. But it's only so long that that's going to be able to last. We must simplify our lives. We must learn how to start to shop paying cash instead of going. Listen, if you've got to shop and every time you shop, you're paying using your credit cards, that means you can't really afford it. If you want those shoes, if you want if you want those rims, if you want that stereo system, whatever you want, get it. But if you cannot pay cash for it, you need to wait. Listen, the quicker you can accept what I am telling you, the more easy this change is going to be. Because this world is on the verge of a collapse. And you can see that on every major network, every newspaper, every book that you pick up. When money goes in, what are, what are we going to do then? Then what's going to happen? Now, I'm not about worrying about what I can't prevent, but I am about making solid, sound decisions about where I am now. And we need to position ourselves in a way to where our motivating factor of life does not revolve around a dollar that has no value. You must learn how to seek your enjoyment out of things that were not created by humankind. Reflect on those things. Within them, I think you'll find great revelation. Until next time, I'll see you.